It's been a long time coming, but we finally have a new Nvidia Shield TV. Actually, there are two new models. One looks just like the old one, and one's shaped like a tube. I'm Hayato with Android Central, and let's talk about what's new. So the Shield TV has basically been the king of streaming boxes for the last few years, and it's only gotten better with the new refresh. The standard 2019 model comes in this weird cylindrical shape that you sort of just leave on the ground. It's a little clumsy, but the good news is the power supply is built right into the unit this time around, so you don't need any kind of external wall adapter. Something that's missing from this model, there are no more USB ports, but unless you have a huge media library stored on an external hard drive, you probably don't need them anyway. And if you do, the Pro model has two USB 3.0 ports. Now, something I really like is how they revamped the remote. It's a little bulkier, but it's easier to hold, it runs off of AAA batteries, and there's a super handy Find My Remote feature that you can trigger from your phone and make the remote start loudly beeping until you can dig it out of your couch. Even more good news, if you're still perfectly happy with your current Shield TV, this remote is fully backwards compatible, so you can pick it up separately and use it with older models, which is awesome. So enough about the hardware, how does this thing perform as a streaming box? Well, if you've used Android TV before, the new Shield TV will feel instantly familiar. Nothing's really that new on the surface, though there's some tighter integration with Google Assistant, and the main UI curates content from your preferred streaming services, which is really nice. The big improvements are under the hood. The Shield TV supports Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and HDR10, and Nvidia is using its new Tegra X1 Plus processor to enable AI-based upscaling on lower res content. Now, that doesn't mean that 1080p or 720p video is magically going to look just as good as native 4K content, but it does look noticeably better than other upscaling solutions out there, and it pays special mind to details like hair and fabric patterns. So what don't I love about the Shield TV? Well, there's no passive cooling, which means there's a tiny little fan in there, and given that you're supposed to just leave this thing on the floor by your TV stand, I've got a few concerns about dust and long-term durability. You also don't get an HDMI cable in the box, which is a pretty weird omission, but most people probably have one sitting around the house, and these are pretty minor complaints, especially considering the Shield TV only costs $150. For that money, you should absolutely go pick up a Shield TV. You'll be getting a dead simple, polished experience with great content upscaling and even some decent gaming capabilities. Put simply, this is the new Android TV streaming box to beat. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. You should also go check out AndroidCentral.com for our written review on the Shield TV. And if you want another take, go watch Phil Nickinson's review over at Modern Dad. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.